Hi everyone, today is a regular Google Summer of Office Hours. Um, well, the date today is this February 12th. Uh, Marty Jackson uh, is unable to run the today's session, he is busy, so please bear uh, with me. And uh, we have um, a lot of people on the call, we have several students, so we have a lot of potential mentors. So we will uh, run our common agenda. I will uh, start from a uh, short q &A by students who just joined to ask a few questions. Then we will discuss application status and uh, other open action items. And then we will have q &A section for longer questions if you have any. So uh, that's the idea. Uh, if anyone wants to add additional topics, just make a suggestion in the Google Doc. The Google Doc is pasted in our Gitter chat, so you can just uh, open the link and make your suggestion. It should be publicly available for everyone. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, let's begin. Uh, does anyone have any short questions uh, which we could discuss in the beginning? So mm -hmm. for me, the, I've been delighted to have submissions from students have pull requests to, to repositories. That's been really great. I assume that's a good pattern and we want to keep encouraging that. Can you confirm that, that that's a good way for them to get started, to pick up a, a, a newbie friendly bug and submit a pull request so that they learn how the project interacts? Yeah, that's why we post the newbie friendly issues. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the whole idea there. So anybody who is reading uh, project descriptions, you can follow the links. Uh, we have uh, newbie friendly issues which are specific to a particular project, uh, and for all published, uh, we at least provide some guidelines and preferable links. So for example, if you want uh, to work on Git plugin performance, you can find that there are something like ten newbie friendly issues. And you can pick them to study the code base and uh, to polish your proposals. And uh, if there is not enough new different issues, we also have a link to the global uh, page. Um, maybe we should uh, replace this link because now we have more sources. Uh, but yeah, so this is one uh, of potential sources of new different tickets you could uh, um, take. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for something more, we have uh, Jenkins IO participate page. And there also we have uh, new different issues uh, linked from uh, different locations. So for example, for code, you can find more links here. Mm, newcomers, new different issues in Jenkins Jira. So basically the same link as uh, linked in our JSOC uh, page. Uh, but yeah, we should probably link uh, GitHub issues which we didn't do before, but now you can find that there are also some link, some issues in GitHub, which you could add those. Same for documentation and other things, you can find uh, new friendly link, uh, tickets and uh, uh, some hints on these pages. Thank you, thanks very much. Okay, any other questions? We have um, our current outreach participant would like to mentor on Google Summer of Code. We think this is wonderful. We really welcome her uh, contributions and her volunteering her time. How do we go about announcing or formalizing that role for her? Um, so in the current stage, uh, we don't have formal mentors. We have potential mentors. Okay. Uh, so basically it's a list of contributors who are interested uh, in this project in uh, some conditions. So when you add yourself to a list of potential mentors, you don't commit to mentor a project, you don't accept, uh, uh, well, you don't uh, make any kind of commitment, except uh, the fact that students will be able to see your name and uh, pin you in uh, the recommended channels. Uh, okay. So that's it. So if anybody wants to join uh, as a potential mentor to any project, just uh, add your name to the list. That's it. So, and, so the, the mm -hmm. submit a pull request to this page or to the to the matching page proposing mm -hmm. your name to be added as a as a mentor. Exactly. Or as a potential mentor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So we have. Uh, 
Jenkins X. Apps. Uh, the second project was about uh, bootloader. Uh, I'm, I'm, oh, it just doesn't have Jenkins X here, so yeah. I'll probably submit a pull request. So for example, let's take this uh, project idea submitted by Cara. So yeah, that is all uh, the description. And if you want to add yourself um, as a mentor, uh, the quickest way to do that is to just click on improve this page and you will see our Skidoc page with metadata and you can uh, add your Jenkins Jira ID here. Great. Yeah, it Thank may require some additional steps, but yeah, because now it's based on authors. Uh, but yeah, if you just submit a pull request with update, we will be able to guide you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, any additional questions? I had a question. Um, uh, with respect to the Jenkins X project, do we need to keep discussions limited to the GSOC Gitter channel or could we take the discussion to Slack? Uh, which Slack? Uh, for Jenkins X? I mean the Jenkins, the Jenkins X development Slack. Yeah, for Jenkins X, you should definitely use uh, Slack. Uh, so they think he, um, uh, Carl submitted a link uh, to GSOC. -C. So, Kara, maybe you would like to update it to, uh, to the Slack reference. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I put it to the, um, mm -hmm. I put the link to the original issue in the mailing list. But okay, I'll, I'll put the link to the, for discussion to the Jenkins X um, Slack channels. Yeah, because That's for Jenkins X, it might be convenient, especially okay. if you have a special uh, channel for JSOC matters or for JSOC slash outreach slash other programs. Because yeah, if you just put a link to the developer list, it may, the developer channel, it may be a bit overloaded, but yeah, it's up to you. Okay, we don't currently have that channel. So for now it will be the developer channel. Mm -hmm. um, and that Slack is actually the Kubernetes Slack. So we'll look into developing another channel for mentoring programs. I think that's a very good idea, Alec. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. So, uh, if something needed um, on the on the tooling side, please let me know. Because when we created this framework, we didn't have use cases for Slack. And yeah, right now, you can see here that yeah, actually, uh, why we get this link mm -hmm. is because uh, the metadata is uh, implicitly pulled because you didn't override it. Um, so we probably need to make some changes to make it happen. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just looking, uh, okay, let's take ED coverage. Um, it's a bad example because it, uh, it takes metadata from seek. Uh, what do we have? Uh, plugin installation manager tools. So the, so here the chat link uh, links to the special Gitter channel. And here how it's implemented. It just has uh, uh, links metadata is a link to Gitter. Mm -hmm. So probably we could uh, add um, something like that or just a chat link which uh, supports uh, URL. Because yeah. I guess what we need uh, to put for Jenkins X projects is a link uh, which is uh, uh, listed on this page, uh, Jenkins X slash community, right? So we potentially need to just put a link uh, to this uh, location, right? Yes, that would be very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I think uh, it requires some uh, programming. Okay. Um, yeah. mm, I had another question. Um, with respect to the GitHub Checks API, mm -hmm. uh, I think I suggested that uh, we form a different GitHub channel mm -hmm. to which we didn't follow up on that. So is there any plan to create another GitHub chat or are we going to do those discussions in the GSOC uh, channel itself? Uh, for which project? Uh, for the GitHub Checks API. Mm -hmm. 
it depends on uh, mentors. So okay. as long as long as uh, there is not uh, a lot of traffic, it makes sense to use a JSOC channel. Uh, okay. What we what we usually do, uh, we create channels uh, when uh, project IDs are accepted. So at that point, okay, uh, it's almost 100% uh, probability that there will be a dedicated channel. Uh, but uh, okay. as a part of application, it's ultimately up to potential mentors and champions. If they prefer to create another channel, why not? Yeah, okay, thank you so much, Ole. Yeah, so here I think it's fine to keep it as is. Now, I have a question uh, regarding to uh, Windows Service of my project. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any kind of a guitar channel low or yes, you know, something like for a uh, Windows Service Server project? Uh, um, let me show it to you because, yeah, so Windows Services, you open it here and there is link uh, to chat and Gitter and it links you to platform special interest group. So this is uh, the channel uh, which is recommended for this project. Uh, okay. okay, okay, thank you. Yep. So. In the case of doubt, uh, ask in the JSOC Gitter, but uh, we try to point uh, people to specific channels when it's possible. Okay. Well, and that's a good reminder that 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 link on the project page is a trustworthy link. So if we make a mistake in that link, we'll go correct it through pull request to Jenkins.io. Exactly. Okay, any other questions? If not, let's uh, continue. We will still have Kuni uh, at the end of the session. Um, so if you have any new questions, just uh, uh, let's pass on them to, to the end. Um, there was a question from Mark about uh, the timeline. So uh, I will just uh, put a link here. Okay, so today is February 12th. So we are somewhere in between these phases. So on February 5th, we submitted our final application. Um, thanks a lot to everyone who participated uh, in the reviews. Um, this application is uh, available um, on our website. So basically it's the same. Um, and now we are waiting for Google to make final decision where we accept it or not. This decision will arrive on February 20th. So after that, we will know that we are accepted and that we will get at least one project slot. Uh, so basically it means that the Google Summer of Code for Jenkins happens. And uh, then uh, yeah, we will start uh, all the prep work. So we will, uh, there will be a lot more students uh, reaching out because Google will publish uh, the 2020 site with uh, reference uh, to all participating organizations. Jenkins will be there, there will be a new uh, project tags. Uh, it will be possible to discover Jenkins project and hopefully we'll get a lot more traffic. And uh, then um, the most active part uh, starts. So until uh, March 31st, basically uh, it, uh, there will be a lot of discussions with students. We already have uh, several students who submitted uh, the project proposal drafts but there will be a lot more of them, hopefully. And um, our main objective in this period will be to just answer questions, uh, provide some feedback uh, in uh, project proposals, and uh, to help uh, students who are interested uh, to do the submissions. Uh, so this is the phase where we are not really proactive. Uh, we just handle a lot of uh, requests, but at the same time, we need to ensure that uh, all our project ideas um, I moved to the published state uh, shortly after February 12, uh, 20th. So if you go to our current page, you can see that uh, there is a lot of project ideas which are in drafts. Some of them uh, are in drafts due to technical reasons because we need to convert uh, them uh, to ASCII doc. Uh, some because we are missing uh, items. For example, uh, if you take uh, uh, Jenkins X uh, project ideas, uh, we still need to have new different issues link, etc. Oh, yeah, we already have them. So uh, we were missing the quick start guide. 
but uh, yeah, it's one of things which can be delivered quickly and we can get uh, these projects published. So, yeah, I hope uh, we'll be able to move uh, the most of the projects to the published phase um, um, by the end of the February. And yeah, so that one month of discussions, um, these discussions will be quite hot uh, in the last week, especially because, uh, yeah, deadline driven uh, development as always. Uh, but yeah, after that, uh, we will have a uh, selection phase, which is uh, one month, but it is uh, one month is quite a uh, hot uh, month for mentors and for admins because we need uh, to create uh, mentor teams. So basically, match uh, mentors. Um, and uh, students. So this is where uh, we will have communications with mentors uh, with regards to their commitment because we will expect all mentors who really uh, lead teams and who participate in teams to commit time to that um, and it will be a part of our um, uh, own project mapping. And after that community bonding and coding. So um, these phases we can probably discuss later uh, but yeah, the public part starts only um, in May, but of course it's a lot of work before it happens. Any questions? Okay. My my question are like uh, it follows on from what you've said and and it's on the list mm -hmm. further down with duplicate projects. So both both of the Jenkins X projects are in the proposed list and then one is duplicated in the yep. still under discussion list. What does it take to move it out of that ongoing discussion list? Mm, mm, it's just a single pull request which uh, removes uh, the file. Uh, I yes, yeah, what, what would you like to see in that pull request? Just removing the file. So, just removing it. Okay. Yeah, so how it's organized. Um, oh, right. Now I understand why it's a bit complicated here because uh, for this type, we just uh, link uh, the developer mailing list. Okay, so let's take a look um, using another project. So I'm just clicking improve this page uh, to not uh, go to, Git, uh, to GitHub. But yeah, you can see that we are on GitHub and there is a folder, project mm -hmm. ideas. So each project uh, has a, an entry here. Uh, for example, for Jenkins X, yeah, we have one, two, and uh, this is probably one which needs to be removed. Yep. Yeah. So this is metadata which was created by me. So I will just make, delete this file. Uh, JX rem, uh, remove uh, duplicate. Uh, yeah. Let's see, this is cool. Live GitHub, not just live coding, but live GitHub pull request creation. Yeah, that's fine. Unfortunately, we still don't have uh, automatic uh, labeling code, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, well, it's trivial to edit. So yeah, here we go. Uh, but yeah, if anyone uh, wants to make some suggestion to um, project ideas and for what it was, uh, any other page on Jenkins.io, the flow is uh, more or less the same. You click improve this page and then you can uh, modify it. Great, thank you. Okay. So, yeah, one action item less. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and the next question was actually about uh, incoming project ideas. Mm, so right now we have, uh, I'll just go, I'll just, I don't have mouse, so sorry. Okay, so we are here. Uh, now we have um, seven or eight uh, project ideas which are fu fully accepted. So it means that uh, they fully match uh, our criteria. And we also have a bunch uh, of project ideas uh, here which need additional actions. Um, if I understand correctly, one of action items uh, from the previous meetings was to move uh, Jenkins REST API uh, and other topics uh, to the ongoing discussion list. Um, is it correct, Martin? Yes, I'd like to move them off, but I don't know if we want to keep them somewhere. 
So you think uh, it's better to just uh, kill them? Okay, just remove them. Yeah, so removing them is uh, the most straightforward way. Okay. Um, yeah. So if there is uh, no probability to get mentors there, yeah, you probably just remove them. Alternative okay. way is to start a, a discussion in the developer mailing list, uh, say that uh, uh, there are uh, ideas which we would consider doing, but we don't have uh, uh, anyone interested, and then we move it, uh, them back to ongoing discussion. Uh, but yeah, it's a more complicated step. I see, okay. So if you want uh, to just start a thread in the developer mailing list, I can uh, modify the statuses. If not, uh, let's just remove them. Okay, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so what else do we have in the list? Uh, so automatic specification generator, Bitbucket REST API is probably the same as others because yeah, he is listed here. I pinged him whether he would be available to be a lead mentor there, but I didn't get a response so far. So I'll uh, do my best effort. If not, uh, we will remove that in the same way. Uh, code coverage improvements, it stays. Uh, polling Docker images stays. ED coverage probably stays. Fingerprint, yes. So yeah, for these ideas, we just need to move them uh, to YAML, uh, sorry, to ASCII doc uh, from uh, Google doc. Mm, yeah, unfortunately, there is no straightforward migration. You can use Pandoc for that, but uh, Google injects a lot of metadata, which needs to be manually removed from, from exported pages. And so yeah, it takes time. And yeah, for Jenkins X, I think we can do it quickly. And for the these ones, yeah, we also have a plan. Okay. So Oleg, do you want do you want to convert all the Google Docs to um, to the a doc in 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 as pull requests and remove the Google Docs altogether. Um, it was my understanding of uh, the current project ideas policy, so I just interpreted how it's written right now, and my assumption was that it's required to migrate uh, to ASCII doc to get uh, the idea to the accepted list. Okay. Uh, if you, th if you think that we can just uh, keep uh, separate project IDs with Google Doc, then yeah, it's a separate story. It could save us some time. Because it's what, some time? It could save us some time. To keep using the Google Docs? Yes. Okay, so I don't... My idea when I wrote uh, this page that you are showing is not to forbid Google Docs. It was to say it's optional. So maybe that is not clear. Um, mm -hmm. so, so Martin, just for, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be sure I understand. I like the notion of having an ADOC file as an idea that we have a record of version controlled is, there, is your concern that that's too much overhead? I'm not sure I'm understanding your concern. The, cons we've, the Google Doc was really easy for us. It was really easy for, for students mm -hmm. um, to provide, like, so students and other mentors could comment on the Google Doc without opening a pull request. It was a very low barrier of entry to use Google Doc. Mm -hmm. to discuss to discuss the project ideas it's, that was the original um, intent was to have a very low barrier of entry mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we can uh, probably keep it as is because, well, the rendering still works, um, the layout still works. Probably we could kill metadata. Example three, it's no longer needed. And yeah, the problem that I don't have permissions, but yeah, that's why uh, uh, one of the reasons why uh, keeping cool docs also becomes a kind of burden. Uh, but there's drawbacks. Yes, that's one of them. <laughs> you have to find the owner of the document. Yep. So, uh, but yeah, the rest is fine. So if we agree that we keep a uh, Google Doc as option for published ideas, I can uh, press it and publish maybe five uh, project ideas right away. It's fine with me to continue to use Google Docs. Mm -hmm. Any other opinions? Mm. Okay, so I think we can just allow that and yeah, save some time. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, and that's all we had on the agenda. Unless uh, there are other open action items uh, we needed to discuss. Um, one, action, one action item we had from uh, previous months is uh, student travel blog post. Uh, so we got one published uh, this weekend is for Obude and uh, Jinxio blog. So it's here, trip to DevOps world, Jinx's world. We also have one staged uh, by Perry Chain. And if, I, oh, that's me. And then, yeah. But yeah, thanks a lot to Obude. And we definitely need more these ones. Uh, so one for by Parichi is already staged. I hope we will publish it maybe tomorrow or today, depending on the uh, co-editor's capacity. So we are waiting uh, for long. Okay. Any other action items uh, which we are missing? Okay, so we can uh, spend more time on Kune, and uh, our chat was quite active. Uh, so mm, uh, uh, there was a question about automatic uh, specification generator. So I think we can press it today. Uh, Oleg, uh, I'm having question about the automatic specification generator. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, in last week I have worked on uh, the OpenAPI and uh, uh, Swagger, which you have sent to me, the links. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as you mentioned, I have done, uh, I have queried the same thing in a mailing list also. Martin sir has uh, gave, given uh, sources about Stapler. Can I know how can I start with? <clears throat> mm. So uh, the most straightforward, uh, so uh, what is your objective right now? To explore the area or to start contributing towards uh, the project idea? Uh, I want to con contribute for a REST API documentation automatic one. So I have mm. done, uh, the basics about how to generate from Swagger or Swagger and Open API, mm -hmm. but how to make the process automation automatic. Yeah, so one of um, things you could consider there, um, maybe as a first step. So in Jenkins, we have uh, um, some annotations uh, provided by Stepper. 
So for example, here uh, there is uh, export to notation. Um, okay. So here you can see that uh, there are uh, two kinds of notations. We can take, for example, uh, okay, so for example, uh, if you browse change logs and Jenkins, you can also access uh, them in REST API. And here you can see that um, uh, the data container um, it contains exported bin, which basically sets a notation that this class may be exported. And it also has uh, some um, exported fields. So for example, here items, kind, whatever it means. Um, and uh, what you could do as a first step uh, to just create a, maybe a simple parser which uh, part, uh, processes uh, these annotations and uh, generates uh, skeleton swagger uh, output because yeah, it would be one of the first steps uh, for the project. And it's something which could help you to study how step turtle works, how annotations work, um, and uh, how you can extend that. Uh, means that means the whatever uh, annotation with Etheret exported. Uh, are they means are they the request to the server? Uh, so yeah, it's for get request. So uh, in Jenkins, um, yeah, I can just show an example. Um, I have an instance. So hopefully it uh, was restarted after the security update. Okay, so we have a job here, which is quite old, but whatever. And here you can see a button, REST API. Where uh, I can't, okay, ha, take it fine. Now do you see it? Ha, fine, yes. Yeah. Okay. So here, fine. yeah, here you can just click uh, JSON API, whatever, and you get a kind of output. So this is okay. an output, which is basically get REST API. Um, and uh, this output is uh, generated by these exported annotations and other things. Uh, it doesn't cover all uh, Jenkins uh, REST APIs, but it's probably um, the case uh, which you can use uh, for initial exploration because it's relatively simple. And okay. you can uh, uh, just uh, try pulling the annotations and uh, generating some uh, machine readable documentation for that um, as a first step. And one more uh, query, it's like uh, we have to go through the code and we have to parse the, we have to get the exported functions and uh, then we have to parse them and we have to generate the REST API documentation, right? Uh, yes, something like that. Uh, so it may be a bit uh, more difficult because going through code may not work. Ah, yes, yes, because uh, the every code won't be written as the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're interested, uh, there is um, there are already some implementations. For example, we have a parser which uh, generates um, um, extension points documentation in Jenkins, and we also have parser which uh, generates uh, uh, pipeline documentation. Um, probably, I'll uh, show you the second one. Uh, okay. So, Jenkins info, and he's. Um, mm, Pipeline. Uh, so pipeline steps doc generator. So again, it's a code which goes uh, through plugins and uh, generates uh, some documentation. So for you, it could be a good starting point to see how a similar functionality is implemented. And you could uh, try integrating it, um, for example, for exported annotations. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will go through them and uh, if I face any queries, I will ask. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, does anybody else have comments about uh, this uh, project? So, I'm not sure whether Kristen is on the call today. Yeah, Kristen is online. Yeah, hey, I'm here. I don't really have too much to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one more thing is that will this project will be continued, right? If anyone, if I work on this, uh, because there are no mentors for uh, the REST API plugin. So there are mentors for REST API plugins. It's me and Kristen, I believe. Ah, yes, yes. For this, uh, you, uh, you and Kristen were 
assigned as mentors right yep mm-hmm. so what it means we are listed um, we are listed here as potential mentors uh so we we might be available for this project but it really depends on multiple conditions like uh, other applications uh, our capacity because everything may uh, change in the next few months mm-hmm. um so hopefully everything goes well and i believe that for this project we can uh, find more potential mentors so if we get accepted on february 20th we will be reaching out uh, to jenkins contributors to find uh, more potential mentors Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I hope that uh, this project happens because it's quite important uh, to the Jenkins community. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, it will give an overview about every plugin for uh, for processing or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, in, I will work on this in this week, and I will let you know what I have done by next week. In next week. With next week's meeting okay thank you Fine. any other questions thank you yeah. ha huh, that's uh, uh-huh. for now if i then mm-hmm. i will ask okay thank you uh, so like uh, this question is regarding to the windows service wrapper and uh, here we are hoping to uh, convert those xml uh, uh, parser to uh, yml so i think uh in uh, other plugins as well uh, there are some uh, xml implementation i think uh, in rana uh, rana process kill and uh, share directory uh, mapper and those things so i think we are hoping to do a kind of a full refactoring on uh, windows service wrapper or just uh, convert them into yaml so for me so yeah uh, i would expect that uh, this project uh, still supports xmls Uh, but it gets yeah. additional support for YAMLs, so it's not something you replace one uh, by another. But um, it's something uh, to be discussed uh, as a part of your proposal, okay. uh, because if you can justify uh, switching to YAML entirely, uh, it can be discussed, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, it's up to you to create uh, this proposal. So project idea oh. just uh, narrows it uh, to particular items which would be nice to address, which could be improved. Uh, but okay. your proposal uh, may be quite different from the idea. And for this particular project, if you come up with something original, um, we still can consider that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even if okay. it's okay. not fully aligned uh, with uh, the idea for YAMLs. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else for today? If not, uh, thanks uh, everyone, and uh, let's meet again next week. Uh, if you have any uh, questions uh, in meantime uh, you uh, can use uh, all linked channels so hopefully we will have jenkins x uh, channel linked properly in a few days and for the rest yeah, just keep your thank you thanks all okay thank you thanks, thanks. thank you everyone